This time we start with an inequality statement. Notice that there's a line underneath the inequality arrow. That means something very special. What this says is that x, which can be any number in our number system, is greater than or equal to negative 5. The line underneath the arrow says or equal 2. So now there are two possibilities. Whenever you have a line underneath the inequality sign, you'll use a bracket rather than parentheses. And that means the number is actually included in the interval. Well, this time we're going to be graphing the inequality, x is greater than or equal to negative 5, and we're going to write the interval notation. We're going to do both. And this is the most common thing that you're asked to do uh, in the homework on, on uh, inequalities. Okay, so I make a number line. I make little hash marks to represent my scale. That's what they're called, the scale. I make a right-facing bracket at negative 5 and an arrow going off to the right. This sign faces to the right. And the arrow on our graph faces right. Now look at the graph. Notice the number on the left and the infinity sign on the right. Our interval notation is going to look very much like the graph. I always graph first. Also remember that infinity and negative infinity are symbols. They take parentheses. The reason is that they're symbols, they're not numbers, so we can't really say x equals infinity. It just gets farther and farther and farther out. So we use parentheses. Got it? All right, we will keep on keeping on. Talk to you soon.